everyone hope your day is going well we are back with another reaction pale blue dot iconic photograph uh, of our home taken by voyager one of course i know it carl sagan uh told him turn that thing around you know hey take the first selfie of earth <laughs> uh, someone recommended this video to me that this is a beautiful rendition uh, of maybe how it came together i don't know let's see let's see if it one if it's one thing, this photograph, it's, it's humbling, you know, we should treat each other and this planet that we call home uh, with a little more respect, right? Let's go. From this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. Yeah. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species, lived there, on the moat of dust, suspended in a sunbeam. The Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors, so that in glory and triumph they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this pixel on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner. How frequent their misunderstandings. How eager they are to kill one another. How fervent their hatreds. Our posturings, our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe, are challenged by this point of pale light. Yep. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. The Earth is the only world known so far to harbor life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. Visit? Yes. Settle? Not yet. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our stand. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. Yeah, that's beautiful and sad and wise words, you know, Carl Sagan, smart man. Yeah, it's really interesting that I've just reacted uh, to a song called Godzilla by 
Blue Oyster Cult on my other channel, and there was a line in there about the folly of men that he mentions this now. And I mentioned at the end there, like the arrogance of men, and we think that we are so important. And he just said that in here. It is, man. Wow. It, it is very humbling, as I said in the beginning, and, and, and was mentioned here too, that you see that no life uh, as of now that we have found in the nearest vicinity might be there. I hope it's there. Kind of would take the pressure off, you know, because if we are so hell bent on self destructing ourselves, I hope there's something else out there, uh, you know, because if, 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 if we're, oh man, I can't even finish that scent. It's, uh, it's beautiful, you know, with that music of Hans Zimmer, of course, uh, the interstellar music, the, the different footage we see of, of good people, of entertainers, of destroyers, of, Horrific evil people, you know, it's, uh, it's a reminder of what we're capable of, you know, good and bad. And sometimes it's embarrassing to be human. You know, it's that reminder, you know, especially nowadays with all of these people, you know, with their self-importance, thinking they can govern the entire world and control everybody and everything. Uh, you know... They need a trip out there, you know, look at this planet. I don't think they wouldn't even, they don't even get it. There's not a thing in this world that would make them get it. Uh, and that's scary and embarrassing, man, to know that, it, I, I guess it lives in all of us. We have the capacity for good and bad. And yeah, man, uh, it's very humbling, this uh, subject, you know, if you think of the vastness of the entire universe. And you see that little speck there, that little pale blue dot is what we're on, you know. Our, our cosmic address is not known to other species as far as we know. I don't know what they would do if they had our address. Uh, yeah, it's very humbling. And at the same time, you know, it, it is, it does take the pressure off because I do believe there's something else out there. Uh, there is life out there. Maybe they got it right. Maybe we get it right sometimes. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> but there is beauty on this planet, man. We should uh, respect it. And uh, videos like these definitely are a uh, good reminder of that. I love it. Uh, it's beautiful. And uh, happy to be here on this planet. Sometimes ashamed. You know. Some of the life out here, you know, they definitely didn't deserve humankind. Uh, that's for sure. Damn. Great video. Really well made. Great atmosphere. And uh, yeah, this is uh, one of the great things about the internet, man. I love it. Uh, thank you for spending some time with me. It's great to connect with people who also uh, feel a bit down, you know, with all this daily depressing news. And, uh, you know connect with like-minded people i appreciate you guys thank you for uh for being here and uh, being a little bit emotional support huh <laughs> i appreciate you guys have a wonderful day goodbye